Want to unlock a secret vendor that's hidden in the world in Lords of the Fallen? Today, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock this vendor and why you need to unlock this vendor so this vendor can give you the ability to get better loot in the game. And who doesn't want better loot? You definitely do. So what do you do to unlock this character? Well, super easy, guys. First and foremost, guys, you're going to need to get the Inferno Catalyst. Now, in order to get the Inferno Catalyst, guys, you're going to go to this area right here where I'm about to show you right now. Uh, you're going to need the uh, Sky Bridge key as well. I have a video on how to get the Sky Bridge key. And this should automatically allow you to get in here. But I'm going to show you guys the quick route of how you do this. You go this way. Work your way downstairs. And once you work your way downstairs here, guys, you are then going to go over this little lip right here. And go this way. And you guys are going to be in the Sky Ridge Bridge. Now, apart from the Sky Ridge Bridge, guys, you're also going to need to get the Catalyst, which I have a video on on the secret room on how to get it so basically you want to get to the top of this ladder that i'm going to show you guys right now you probably don't see the ladder right now because we are not in umbra but i'm going to show you guys what that looks like once i go to umbra here we go to umbra and while we're in umbra you're then going to notice that there's a ladder right here in front of us now you're going to be able to access this ladder by de uh, destroying some of the vines that protect it and you're going to go ahead and siphon this out in order to siphon this out, he's going to drop an item, which is the Catalyst. Once you got the uh, Catalyst dropped, which is a really good Catalyst if you guys are running an Inferno build. Highly recommend you guys definitely upgrade it. Or if you want access to this vendor, you could also do so. Once you have the Catalyst in your hand, you're going to go up this way. Make your way up, 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 up and away. And once you're here, you are then going to be able to find a lady, which I call the uh, Exorcist. That she's going to be right here in this jail cell. As you see right now, she is not right here in the jail cell because she already teleported. But she's going to be behind bars right here. And she's going to, you're going to talk to her and she's going to tell you, can you please give me the catalyst? And if you give her the catalyst, she's going to start laughing at you. And you're going to like, oh crap, Linda Blair is about to come out. But after that, you're then going to be like, where do I find her? And I'm going to show you guys exactly what you do. If you guys come here after you guys killed her... You're going to be able to pick this up and you're going to be pick, able to pick up the Torsionous Prisoner Head Cage. All right, so now it's to find her where she is located. So we're going to go this way, not this way, sorry. Not, we're going to go across here and we're going to go to the Sky Bridge. But once we make our way towards the Sky Bridge here, we're going to do, we're going to go up here and then we're going to make a quick left, work our way this way. And you're going to go out through this door right here real quick. Go up the stairs, and then once we're up the stairs, we're going to be back to the boss fight where we uh, first fought the uh, lady. Once we do that, we're going to go over here, and we are going to see that there is a lady that spawned here now. That she has uh, a nice little dialogue that we're going to listen to. And one's kin. So now that we exhausted her dialogue, you're going to be able to talk to her. And you're going to be able to sell and purchase and talk. So we're going to go purchase. Ah, and this is what she has items for sale. She has some really good stuff. So she has this nice uh, pirate cultist staff. Which you already kind of theoretically start off with. If you go Inferno. But you're able to pick this one up. Uh, if you want an additional one. You're also able to pick up a cultist uh, catalyst. And you're able to pick this one. Which is definitely a really good one to pick up. If you're running an Inferno build. But the main reason, if you're not running an Inferno build that you want to come here, is for the Charged Finger. The Charged Finger is going to be extremely important that you guys definitely pick up. Because what this is going to allow you to do, it's going to increase the reward receipt upon completion. So a Charged Finger, which is used before performing the Crimson Ritual, increases the reward received upon completion. So what this is going to allow you to do... It's going to allow you guys to get better rewards when you're playing the game. Regardless of the character you're playing... This is going to be very beneficial to you guys. So if you go ahead and purchase one, you go ahead and accept. And now you get a charge finger. It gives you five, which is really good because the first one you're able to purchase only gives you one. So this gives you a shot at five different ones. And then you can pick this one up, which is a really good for Inferno builds. Or if you're running a Radiance build, it's actually pretty good as well. And there you guys have it. That is how you unlock the secret vendor in Lords of the Fallen. I hope you guys are enjoying our content. If you are... Do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like, and don't forget for more of Lords of the Fallen content, make sure you keep it locked here or check out our second channel, which has a ton of Lords of the Fallen content as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.